he hasn't given a speech for quite a while. It's been plenty to be given so far. I think it's, it's one. one, yeah. So um, Karen says, say it and say it again. Project 2, advanced manual speaking to inform. Duration is five to seven minutes for the timer. Please welcome Carrie.
Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. Another famous example some of you might have heard is from Winston Churchill back in one of those wars, world wars. And it goes something like this. I'll try to imitate it a little bit. We shall fight in France. We shall fight in the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. I don't like war, personally, but even I have to admit that sounds pretty good. And thinking, or speaking of not liking things, one final example is from Dr. Seuss. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam I am. And the next device is called epistrophe. And epistrophe is ending each item in a series with the same word or words. And just like with anaphora, there are some really famous examples that you probably know. The first one is, do you swear to tell the truth? The whole truth and I'm going to click that. <laughs> Another one is a government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from this earth. And this one, epistrophe, I call the Grim Reaper because each instance starts out different, but it all ends up the same. So there are some. Examples for also, there are also some examples of epistrophe in Dr. King's famous speech. I'll just give you a couple. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. So you can see the force is the same in both cases. And just one other one. Their destiny is tied up with our destiny, and they have come to realize that their freedom is inextricably bound to our freedom. And the last device is anaphora, and probably this is, this is beginning and ending each item in a series with the same word or word. So it's a combination of anaphora and epistrophe. And probably the most famous example of that is from Charles Dickens. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And Another famous example that some of you might have heard is from Ralph Waldo Emerson. What lies behind us and what lies before us is, are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. And again, a couple of examples from Dr. King's speech. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we'll, we will be free one day. And one final example of simplicity. Little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls. So tonight I've just given you three examples of repetition devices. There are many more, and then beyond that, there are many more devices of other kinds. And if you'd like to start applying these techniques, I have three suggestions for you. Number one, start to listen for them. Listen to them in conversations, listen to them on TV, listen to them in famous speeches that you can find on the internet. Number two is to take a speech you've already written and boost its power by adding these devices, and I have some handouts for you. <coughs> and number three is have fun when you write your speeches. Really play around with the possibilities. If you enjoy writing your speeches, it's likely that your audience will enjoy listening to them. So happy speech writing.